hi you guys welcome back to my channel The first item that I'm going to share is this leather blazer that I'm wearing right now. I actually thrifted this from Poshmark. I got it for $10, which is a freaking steal. It is a real genuine leather shell with a polyester lining. It's got these really deep side pockets and two buttons at the front to close. This is a size six and I believe the brand is Jean Paul something. Um, not a brand that I know of, definitely a vintage brand. but. This blazer is to die for. To be fair, I saw the Lioness West Village blazer in a faux leather and I was like, I need to have that, but I don't have $70 to spend on it. So let's go look through Poshmark and I came across this one. The next blazer is one that I shared with you guys in my fall trends video, which is the Lioness Wyoming blazer. So pick up this blazer again from Poshmark, $20. It was new with tags, so that was a deal. But I definitely think this is the perfect oversized blazer for someone who's like me, um, a petite frame but taller because it still has that oversized look without looking swallowed, but it's very good in terms of length of shoulder and arms. So a lot of the times for me, because I'm taller, the arms are too short or the actual body of the blazer is too short. But this is perfect, very comfortable. It's definitely a little bit thicker than your standard cotton blazer, but it is just gorgeous. And the shoulder detailing is really nice and structured. Highly, highly recommend. Then out of sheer boredom, I decided to buy shoes and sunglasses for whatever reason. So I picked up shoes from Forever 21. Yes, you heard that right, Forever 21. I don't even know what came over me, why I ended up on that site. I have no idea. Um, but I bought a bunch of shoes and they were relatively inexpensive. So I would say it was a win, but I probably would never buy anything from there again. I don't know what compelled me. The first shoes I have are these square toe uh, heeled sandals. They wrap at the top and these are actually really comfortable. I wore them the other night to drinks and dinner with my girlfriends and they were super comfortable, really cute. I got a lot of compliments on them and super versatile. They go with a lot of different things and add a little pizzazz. Um, the heel height is four inches and it does have padding all throughout the shoe. So you've got padding at the toe, padding over here, and I didn't have any issues with them hurting my feet. So overall, 10 out of 10. The other pair that I picked up from Forever 21 are these quilted mules. These are just a staple in the fall and I feel like I'm very late to the game on these. To be honest, I was like, I'm never gonna wear them. I don't want them. I'll just wear boots. And now I'm like, no, I don't wanna wear boots. I just wanna wear open toe shoes. So I picked these up. I love these with a super long light wash denim, black turtleneck, um, or with a skirt and a blazer and a turtleneck. They're so, so cute. And they're pretty square, I will say. The, the square toe is pretty aggressive here, but they're nice and padded. They fit true to size, just like my other sandals. Very comfortable, super chic. I think the heel height is only three and a half inches. So great for those of you that aren't looking to have you know, a full on height elevation, but enough to give you a little pep in your step. The last pair of shoes I do not have, I'm waiting for them to get shipped, and they are these cowboy boots. I will insert them here, maybe here, I don't know, somewhere on this screen. And I can't believe I bought them because if you watched my fall trends video, I'm like, I'm not interested in buying knee high croc cowboy boots. Like it's too aggressive for me. And then mm, give it a week and I was like, oh my God, I need to have a pair. So I bought these and they're a black croc cowboy boot the heel height is around three and a half inches and they just look freaking badass i have no idea what i'm gonna wear them with i have no idea where i'm gonna wear them at all i don't even know outfits but you guys when i just said i was drawn to them it was like destiny i was like these boots are made for walking and i am meant to walk in these boots and the last item i want to talk about are these new sunglasses that i got they are from Celine and they look like this. I believe they are similar to, oh, I forget which one that Hailey Bieber wears. Similar to those, but it's a little bit of a different style. I will leave the details down below for you guys. They look like this. They are super chic, really, really strong cat eye, very like mod, but love these. The case was really nice that it came in 
and so far I've been wearing those and really enjoying wearing them. They're super comfortable, they feel very durable, um, and really happy that I splurged and picked them up. Just because it's quarantine doesn't mean we can't have fashion fun, and even if it's one or two days a week that you're dressing up, that you're putting makeup on, um, getting in front of you know your your laptop screen working remotely or you're going into your job taking that time to yourself and just being passionate about something is what helps my mood so so much and I forget about it because honestly you know you could live in sweats all day if you wanted but I come back to fashion every time because it just gets me so excited and I will make an event for me to wear these things at. You know what I mean? Like I will make it happen because of how passionate I am about it. So wanted to share that message with you guys too because no time is easy, especially right now. And it's the little things that have gotten me through it. So hope you guys have a great rest of your day or week and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.